G'day friends, it's Vicky Wright, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Australia. So the other day um, we did, um, on our live, we did a little bit of sponging and die cutting to create this card, okay? Um, then I was sitting down to create the opposite with what was left over and I thought you know what let's do a video on how we're going to do it okay and what we'll do is get cracking so I'm actually going to use all the same colors of um, soft sea foam pool party lemon lolly are the most are the most the main colours okay I have changed it around a bit so I've, I'm, we're going to go with a pool party base card we've got a soft sea foam layer and we've got a couple of pieces of basic white which this time round I'm going to make sure I use the right the right size Okay, and I've actually cut it a little bit narrower and shorter too, so it'll fit like that and it'll have a nice wide border around it. Okay, so we'll put that aside. So we're just going to play with this piece and this piece. So if you remember correctly, if you watched the video before, um, I die cut a circle from a scrap piece of paper with the stylish shapes dies. That's them there. Okay. And we used the circle to create this card. So today, just going to try and fix this up a little bit. Turn the light on. I hope that's a little bit better. So today we're going to use this piece. So what we're going to do is sticky tape this down onto our cardstock. And I'm thinking we might go that way, eh? I'm just making sure. That it all fits okay and it's nice and straight. So we'll grab our sticky tape again. And we're just going to stick that there. And that there. Now I'm not going to worry about too much of the back of the basic white with the sticky tape. I know it may pull and it may rip a little bit but we're not going to see this side. Then yeah. we're going to stick this down you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but we're just going to do this so that um, it doesn't move so much. Okay, so that's basically our card all set or in our mask. Then we're going to bring in a blending brush and we'll use, well I thought I had Pill Party. No. party and we gonna blend pool party in the middle here so all I'm doing is tap tap tapping I always start off my cardstock and I will blend over with small circular motion okay in small circles 
it's best to start off light and add colour as you go because you can't take it off but you can certainly add it and we're just going to continue now pearl party can be a very light colour so I'm just continuing until I'm happy with the depth of colour and what we're going to be left with oops am I doing it right? yeah I really confuse myself sometimes <laughs> not hard to do And just to check, we're just going to leave that up like that, okay? Now you can continue going if you wanted to, but I'm happy with that colour or the coverage. And then, um, I'm thinking while that's there... Nope. Sorry. I'm sort of doing this as we go and I've got a couple of ideas in my head. But whether or not they work is another thing. Oh, that's not too bad. We do need the paper. So we can throw that out or you can put that aside to use on another project. So there's our circle, okie dokie. So then what we're going to do, I've just broken a nail. How can you break a nail from sponging? <laughs> then what we're going to do is stamp our image. So we'll bring in our, um, oh, what do I do with it? Things disappear. I want my phone that. And for the light me, I can't find the thing. I just had it. <laughs> Sorry, just bear, just bear with me. sometimes and I know it's staring me right in the face but if I can see it Bella would probably be able to see it and she's blind okay we found our mat <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to stamp our image and we're going to stamp that in fresh freesia And we're going to do the same image. So it's just going to be the um, the sunflower, the solid image, this one here. Okay. So we'll just tap, tap, tap. And we'll just stamp that. And I'm leaving it sit and soak a little bit longer than normal because um, it, I'm stamping it onto that sponged area. Okay, that's pretty. So that's done. We'll put that aside. We'll put the ink aside. Then we'll bring in our lemon lolly. And we'll do the centre of our flower in lemon lolly. Just like that. Put 
that aside, close up our ink pad, and then we'll do our stem. Okie dokie, and the stem. Don't be scared to turn your work around. To make things easier for you okay oh and while we're here we'll do a couple of leaves we might just do one I think just the one leaf just like that okay that's done then we are going to stamp our sentiment and we're going to keep it at a birthday because birthdays are always handy birthday cards and if you're like me i have a lot coming up at the beginning of the year and we'll stamp that in gorgeous gray so i'm just going to make sure that it is nice and straight because in this instance we've got one chance one chance so don't muck it up I soaked myself out of it too there you are that's pretty good I'm happy with that Then what I'm thinking is, we might bring in the pool party marker and we're going to splash some colour over it. I should have done it before I stamped, but it doesn't matter. I just want a light, randomly, just like that. Some up there, some down there, and that's it. Now I'm also thinking um, will I or won't I do around the edges? Yep, let's do it, eh? Let's 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 do it. Let's be daring. All I'm doing is just to highlight the image or the Just the elements on our card. Oh, excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. That's highlighted that circle a little bit, okay? And then I think what we'll do is we'll just do the same. This is a card I did a couple of weeks ago and I've done exactly the same thing so what we might do is the same along here now you don't have to do this design if you don't want to you can just do straight lines you can do double lines but it's a great way of highlighting your cards or sections of your cards and it's a good way to use your um your markers too so you can do your own scribble and maybe
maybe I shouldn't have gone as close to the edge, but it's done now, so. And just like that. I don't mind that actually, it's, it's brought it to life. Um, another thing we could have done too is probably chop that, um, I cut that shape and put it back, the flower, but I'm thinking we leave it as is, okay? Then all we're going to do now is put our card together. I told you I was sort of thinking as we're going. I'll show you the card that belongs to that one in a minute. And I've done it exactly the same way, but we've used the nested. Oh, isn't that terrible? It's gone again. Nest, nested essential dies. That's what it is. And we'll put that on there like that. Another thing we could have done too was, um, which I love doing, is um, scoring around the edge of our card if you wanted to. Just use your um, paper trimmer, or you simply score scored scoring tool. I love using that thing. Okay, and then to finish it off, all we're going to use, or you use, are our um, brushed brass butterflies okay I might use my fingers for these I'll put one there one down there and I'll put one little one there and that is it simple easy quick with a little bit of a wow with your sponging and using your markers. If you wanted to, you could have gone around those edges in a dark color, but I've kept it neutral. So that is the two cards using those two pieces of oh, oh, that mask that we created. Just let me re, re get this. So that's that one, ignore all the wrinkles and the crumbling. So that's that one. And then we use this circle to do that one. Okay, now I'll see if I can find this other card that we did that belongs to here. Just bear with me. Um, I tell you, I don't know how things disappear so quick, but they tend to. And I've just had it. Here it is. So that's it there. Okay, they're using the same the same mask. And then these are the ones we've done just recently. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed them and we'll see you next time. Okay, enjoy your day. See ya. Hooray.